In this video, I want to discuss one of the best scalping indicators that I found on TradingView. To add this wonderful indicator to our chart, here we click on indicators and we search scalping pullback. This one, scalping pullback tool R1, which is written by someone named Just Uncle L. All right, as you can see, the indicator is added to our chart and let's see what we have and how these lines will help us in scalping. Let me open the settings and explain the components from here with their default settings so you will better understand what they are. We have a fast EMA, which is this green line and by default, it's an exponential moving average with length of 89. Then we have medium EMA, which is this blue line and it's an exponential moving average with length of 200. We have also a slow EMA with a length of 600 which is not activated by default and we can activate it from here which is this black line and it can be used for identifying major trends of the market on much higher time frames. We have also a price action channel which uh, throughout this video we just call it PAC and it's a 34 exponential moving average based on close and high and low. These uh, small triangles that you see on the chart are fractals which are activated by default and we can also activate show ideal fractals only so some of the false fractals which are based on noises can be filtered we can also show market structure changes which are in the form of higher high higher low lower low and higher low and these can also help us in trading the chart background changes color based on the current trend of the market which if you find it distracting you can remove it from here and here, by default, the calculations are based on Haken Oshi candles and we don't change it because the author of the indicator suggested setting the chart to Haken Oshi candles. So here we set the chart type on Haken Oshi. All right, the trading strategy based on this indicator is pullback trading strategy, which we find pullbacks during trends. And then we try to enter in the direction of the current trend. The method is like this. When the price is above PAC, which the candles are blue in this situation, we try to to buy when the price comes back to PAC and on the other hand when the price is below PAC which the candles become red in this situation we try to sell when the price comes back to the PAC please pay attention that this should be in the direction of the market so when the trend is up we don't take selling signals and we only look for buying signals this indicator also shows buy sell signals by the help of these arrows but they are not much accurate and it's better not to pay attention to them you can remove them in the settings here show buy sell arrows all right so when the trend is up which we can identify trends by the help of these moving averages then we focus on long position signals if you remember this blue line is ema with length of 200 which can help us with the current trend of the market here on this time frame for example here since the price is above ema 200 we can say the trend is up and for example in this part since it's repeatedly going above and below EMA 200 without establishing any direction we can say the market is not trending but this black line which is EMA with length of 600 helps us with longer term perspective of the market for example here since the price is above the black line the market is considered bullish no matter if it's ranging sometimes in short term view or for example in this part since the price is below the black line the market is bearish regardless of short term advancing or ranging market so by the help of these moving averages you can easily identify trends on different perspectives so when the trend is up we look for the times when the price is above PAC and then we wait for a pullback to the PAC the author suggested using price action and drawing mini trends or support and resistance levels based on these fractals and market structures so we can find out when the pullback ended and we can enter a trade for example having this uh, mini trend here and then after this we got a period of indecision which created this tight consolidation period and finally this candle broke out of this consolidation period and it also closed above PAC so by having these evidences we can say that the pullback ended and the market is going to advance or for another example here you can see that the price is above PAC and then we have a pullback to PAC and then having this uh, mini downtrend line here which is not broken instantly and the price again went to a consolidation period as you can see here 
and it lasts up to here and at this point this candle broke out of this consolidation period which provided another opportunity for opening a long position please pay attention that when we say the price is above pac we need to see a wave like this or this and having just a few candles which are above pac like this or this which are still approximately stuck to pac these are not the trading setups that we are looking for having these situations tells us that the market is in a trading range a trading range within this uptrend and since this is a trend following strategy it doesn't work well in this situation and you can see that this indicator is giving many false signals in the situation so please pay attention to this important point and be patient and wait for a perfect setup like our two examples here and uh, instead of price action analysis which we use for trade entry we can also use some indicators for example we can add rsi this one and when we have a pullback setup we enter a trade when rsi line crosses above its moving average line while both of them are above 50. in this case you can see that it happened exactly when this candle broke this consolidation period and for this case you can see that rsi gave the signal here another good indicator for this purpose can be stochastic oscillator this one with uh, settings of 74k uh, percent and 3 4k percent smoothing which is a good setting for scalping in this situation of uptrend having the stochastic below 20 and then crossing off k percent line above d percent line and going to the blue area confirms end of the pullback and possible advancing of the price for this case also you can see that it happened here at this point when after crossing it went to blue area here having both of these indicators for confirmation can help you to increase the probability of having a successful trade please pay attention that when we are in an uptrend and the price goes below pac and reaches to the green line which is an ema with length of 89 it means that this uptrend i mean short term advancing of the price is weakening so you shouldn't enter a trade just by having a end of pullback signal from a stochastic and rsi also couldn't cross its moving average line here as you can see and again as you can see the market went to an indecision period if uh, we had a larger candle here which could break the pac and close above the pac it could confirm starting point of another round of advancing but you can see that the market really got weakened and went to a trading range so while we are in an uptrend and the price reaches to the green line it shows short-term weakening of the advancing of the price and the probability of having the market in trading range is very high reaching to the blue line or going below the blue line can be the starting point of reversal and turning of the market to another way this was the trading set up based on this indicator while the market is in an uptrend and we have the similar situation in downtrends but everything just in the opposite direction one important point that you must pay attention is that these are heiken oshi candles and the closing and opening prices are not exactly the market price and heiken oshi candles themselves are a kind of indicator that filter the noises and makes the price movement smoother i have a video about heiken oshi chart versus normal candlestick chart the link is also placed in the description of this video and and please make sure you watch it later so you will understand what you are dealing with here this indicator is a powerful indicator for scalping and its method is built based on pullback trading to enter in the direction of the current trend but like any other tools in technical analysis you should never take your trading decisions only based on these buy sell signals generated from this indicator and you must use this indicator in conjunction with other tools and aspects of technical analysis as i explained in this video all right that's it thank you for watching watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading